It was so special, just the outpour of love and support from the community and just the love they have for Alyssa. It's just been helping me and my family with the healing process. Close to 1,000 people gathered at the Superdome where Alyssa spent four years playing soccer here and training alongside her younger brothers. Alyssa lived here with her family in Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey from 2010 to 2014 and was known for her beautiful smile, big heart and competitive spirit. The Superdome owner coached Alyssa for three years. I spent uh, three or four days a week with her on the soccer field trying to help her learn the game of soccer and she loved the game. She did whatever was asked. She worked super hard, never complained, always smiled, loved being with her teammates, loved being with her friends. The Superdome owner decided to hold this fundraiser as a way for the entire community to mourn the tragic loss of this 14-year-old killed along with 16 others. T-shirts were sold in her memory, as were strands of red hair sold for $10 to raise money for programs to make our schools safer. Many of those here at the Superdome knew the family and are now playing on her soccer team. This family could be our family, and we live in a small community, and we wanted to support and really show our love for the Al Haldex. We know the family. We, we're from Wilkes Lake. They're we're friends of ours in town, and you know, it's really important to understand how crucial this issue is. Many of those here are hoping laws can be strengthened to make sure that schools can be made safer. I think more background checks. I think you need to make sure that we've got red, a red flag system. You need better coordination. To make sure that, that actually the schools themselves have plans in place. I hope that no other mother has to go through the pain and anguish that I feel every single day and that we can make our schools safe and that this tragedy doesn't happen ever again.